And after my last Cloud GPO video, I get a ton of comments like these, all basically saying the same thing. Going all cloud looks great for workstations, but what about my servers? Azure Arc is a teeny tiny little agent that you can install on your servers and then bring them into the cloud right now. And Arc will help you to do all of your patching, configuration, monitoring, logging, tracking, and inventory, and securing your servers, no matter if they're on-prem or even in another cloud. So if you can't go 100% cloud right now, why not get all the management done through one management plane to rule them all? Speaking of which, Arc is a great segue to Windows Admin Center. This is an amazing management tool for all of your Windows servers and your clusters, and now it's baked right into the Azure portal. And it'll give you all of your standard Windows MMC snap-ins, as well as other stuff like your firewalls, installed applications, network and performance monitoring, as well as a PowerShell and RDP console, which gives you the flexibility to manage all of your updates, install and remove roles, troubleshoot, and more, all from the Azure portal. And since your servers are all gonna be in Azure through native or Arc, you should also look at Azure Auto Manage. This is an entire service built around the updates, configuration, inventory, tracking changes, security, logging, backup, everything that a good server admin needs to take care of their stuff. Over in the Azure portal, click on the top search box and type the word auto manage. Now the first thing we should do over on the left is check out your configuration profiles. Here there are two built-in profiles to start with. And the main difference between dev and prod is that dev isn't gonna do monitoring or backups since you generally don't need that in a dev environment. But let's create a custom one just for you. Start by giving it a name, subscription, resource group, and region. Next are the services that you wanna have in your policy, starting with backups. And it does tell us here that backups are not supported for Arc servers, which is good because that means AutoManage supports Arc so that you can get all the benefits that we talked about earlier, but it is bad because you need another way to back up your Arc servers. Now, the easy answer here is that you can just continue using your existing backup solutions for your servers on-prem, or you can use the Microsoft Azure Recovery Services or MARS agent. This is an OS level backup agent that takes your stuff right up to the Azure backup service. Next is enabling your anti-malware protections. This is done through an Azure VM extension and you can set your exclusions right here if you need to, as well as pick your scan day and time. And that's all you gotta do. The next section is your VM insights monitoring. And this is part of the Azure monitor service so that's gonna set up a log analytics workspace to store all of your log files in. Now, machine configurations are very cool. This is basically GPOs that you can push out to your servers from Azure. And this is specifically referring to a Windows baseline policy that's gonna do basically everything that every server should have. Now, the next few services are built on top of your Azure automation accounts, like update management, you also get here change tracking and inventory. And those three things together are basically what Intune or Configuration Manager does. And that's followed by Defender for Cloud, formerly known as Azure Security Center. And that's gonna look at your servers from Azure's best security practices so you can be more secure. Then we just have those references for the automation account and log analytics workspace that are gonna get created to support your other stuff. And we're ending here with boot diagnostics. And that's a great troubleshooting feature that should be included on every VM that you deploy in Azure. It even gives you access to a low level console so you can get in and fix stuff if they really go wrong. And finally, you can onboard your Windows servers here to the Azure Admin Center right from a single checkbox. Once you're happy, click Create, and then back on the left, go to the Auto Manage Machines, and then click up here to enable it. You just select your profile here and we'll pick our custom one and click Next. And here you'll find a list of all of your Azure Arc VMs and Azure native VMs to choose from. Now there are several filters along the top to choose from as well as a text field. And once you've found what you want, you can click the check eligibility button and then you'll know if your VMs are supported. And anything that is ineligible is gonna give you some kind of reason, but really I'd like to see more detail on what's going on with that system. Maybe that's an improvement for the future. So just check the boxes for the VMs that you want to onboard and click create. And that'll start deploying your automation account and log analytics workspace. 
and then deploy the VM extensions necessary to support all of the configurations that you asked for. Now, one of the coolest things about Auto Manage is that if your VM drifts from the configuration that you've set for it, Auto Manage will take care of fixing that for you automatically and then record that in your Azure Activity Logs. So now that you know how to manage anything that you have built, what about building new stuff? And my favorite all cloud deployment solution has got to be the Azure Image Builder. This is a fully automated imaging pipeline and you can start that from a vanilla Microsoft image or bring your own image to the cloud and then add on all of your apps, scripts, configurations, have it install patches and whatever else you want, including reboots. And then it'll sysprep and capture that as a VM image and store that in an Azure compute gallery. And from there, it can be replicated to any region in the world. And of course, don't forget about your OS level tools like the Windows command line, Bash on your Linux systems, Windows Terminal, PowerShell, where you can take advantage of package managers like Winget, Chocolatey, or AppGet. And of course, you're still gonna have to consider how you'll authenticate to those servers remotely, since you can't do Azure AD join on them in the first place, at least not yet. So it looks like hybrid is kind of here to stay for servers, at least for a little while, which isn't a bad thing at all. And if you want me to dig deeper onto any of the sections of this video, or you have some other thoughts on ways that servers can go all cloud, comment down below. And while you're down there, click on all the buttons and do all the things, which all lets YouTube know that you like our content and want to see more of it. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy learning.